Hello everyone. In today's small short video, I will explain you how we can draw in a simple manner a reinforcement detail drawing of slab which can be given for site execution. So first we will take our beam layout drawing and then we will start from there. We will start by drawing the reinforcement of this slab. Once we have calculated the reinforcement required that is the that is the diameter of the bar which will usually 8 mm bar and the spacing of the bar which will be around 180 mm to 200 or it can go below that. But for a normal frame structure uh, which is for a house if the span dimension of the room dimension is around uh, 3 meter by 4 meter or 4 meter by 5 meter it will come around to 200 and uh, if the span is like 4.5 meter to 5 meter the spacing can be up to 180 mm this is how we get after we design the slab so let us proceed with uh, spacing at 180 mm and the dimension of the bar is as 8 mm so this is how the reinforcement drawings we have to draw and this is the openings which we gave for the staircase and if there is a toilet uh, we usually provide a sunken slab so the reinforcement will be curtailed at all the four ends and we will have to give an extra bar at the top and these extra bars will be provided or will be needed at all ends of the uh, slab in the slab reinforcement the sagging moment comes at the middle section of the slab and hogging moment comes at the end section of the slab that is at the supports so the reinforcement main reinforcement required will be at the bottom in the middle section and at the end sections or at the edges where the reinforcement will be required at the top of the slab so we'll crank the uh, alternate bars of the slab and we'll take the reinforcement to the top side of the uh, slab and we'll be providing the reinforcement in that manner and to obtain the spacing as 180 mm at the top reinforcement at the edges of the slab we'll have to provide an extra bar as there is no alternate uh, cranking happening at the end section but for the continuous side that is in this case this side the extra bars need not be provided as the crank bar of the adjacent slab will be coming over to the next slab so the need for extra bar here will not be there but the need for extra bar in the end portions will be needed so we will show the extra bar as a single line like this i will just delete this one and show you how we can quickly draw the reinforcement we will take a polyline and we'll start from here and once we reach this end we'll start cranking the bar and it will go up to the end portion here then we'll draw other reinforcement starting from here it will go up to here and from here we'll crank the bar and we'll extend the bar up to the adjacent slab and then we'll draw a line here to show the extra bar so this is how quickly we can draw the slab reinforcement now the next portion is to cut a section i have cut the section here and then to show the section and the section details so this is how a typical section detail will look like we'll give the thickness of the slab as 10 centimeter it is shown here for the edge beam or the end section the distance of the cranking will be 0.15 l1 and for the continuous section the distance of the cranking will be 0.25 l1 0.25 l2 this l1 l2 defines each span length and in the top uh, the distance up to which the crank bar should go will be 0.3 l1 or 0.3 l2 based on the span of the slab here the distance will be starting from the end of the beam and not from the center of the beam as this 0.25L we have shown here. For getting all these dimensions you can refer SP34 that is the handbook for concrete reinforcement and detailing in that in page number 127 you can see all the dimensions here. Uh, 
in this some certain extra dimensions also are provided but for simplicity of our drawing and for easy understanding i have reduced the dimensions to this one which is the most important one these dimensions will be more than sufficient for our drawing which will be given for the site execution so that's it for today and don't forget to check out our online etaps workshop and register with the link in the description section below thank you and see you next time